Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to go ahead and break down paycheck number three for May of 2021. That will be followed by my change dart, my cash envelope stuffing, and that is it. <laughs> I'm like, is there anything else? Other than like some patter for me, or not patter, that's like stage talk, I guess. It's like when you sing a song and then you do some patter in between. I used to do that sometimes. Um, anyways, so some chatter, uh, some updates. I made a lot more money this paycheck and you'll see the difference. And I will talk about that at the end of this video. So if cash envelope stuffings are your jam, stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys in a bit. And let's go ahead and get started with rent. And rent gets $3.59. Water gets 15. CPS Energy gets 30. Travelers gets 58. Grande, which is our Wi Fi, gets 21. Subscriptions gets 12. And again, for anyone that's just joining me, I do it bi weekly. So rent gets 718, water gets 30 energy gets 60 and so on and so forth. But also I split all of my bills with my husband. So my rent isn't that cheap. It's not 718. We pay about $1,500 a month and that includes water. So it evens out. So just to know what you see reflected here is not only divided by weekly, but it's also divided by two people. Affleck is 28. And actually this one's actually just mine because that's what I pay. Well, 56 monthly for Affleck. Thrive gets 10, Car Gas gets 13. So I allot about $26 a month for gas. And that is solely because again, if you're just joining me, I work from home Monday through Friday, about eight to eight every day if I'm doing overtime. Although tomorrow, since it's Memorial Day, I'm only doing my regular shift. Although I am getting an additional eight hours on top of my regular shift because of the holiday and I volunteered to work. But yes, I normally work 8 to 8, Monday through Friday, so I rarely use my car. And if I do anything on the weekends, it's generally with my husband and he drives. So I don't use a lot of gas. Groceries and house, this gets 50 bi-weekly, so 100 monthly. And I do want to stress, again, that it is this low because my husband does the most of the grocery shopping. So he ends up putting out a lot more out of pocket than I do monthly. Mine is just kind of supplemental. So that's why it's so low. Trust me, I don't eat this cheaply. And then pets gets 60 bi-weekly. Spending fund, haha. <laughs> So you, uh, if you've been following me, you'll see that this went back up. It used to be at this before and then it went down drastically. And now my spending fund is going back again and I feel good about it. I don't care what anyone says. I have paid off my entire debt. So I am like free, free, mostly until something else randomly pops up again and then I won't be free. But for now, I'm enjoying it. And for my spending fund, I am giving myself a total of... 125 bi-weekly so 250 monthly yes and then dr meds gets 60. although since i already got my insurance card for my new job i think i'm going to be getting my hsa savings card or whatever so i don't know that i'll be needing this much longer but i'm going to keep it around until that card comes in and then you know still use this until i have that but i might still have like a little bit uh, on this one because you know with the new diagnosis you know with the diabetes and that pseudo tumor cerebri thing that I was just diagnosed with and you know I just I tend to get really sick all the time so it's just something as just as a precaution of going to doctors and medication and all that jazz so doctor beds gets sixty dollars and now I added self-care and I know I have a spending fund so why do you need a self-care kit you just take out your self-care out of your spending fund no my spending fund is my fun money. My self-care is something that I'm going to provide just solely for self-care, whether that's massage, manicure, pedicure, something to make me feel good and just like helps me relax. That's what that fund is for. Now, I don't know how much I'm going to give this fund yet because I have to sort of divide things out. I mean, I kind of already know how much money I'm going to have left over, but I'm going to still put everything in its envelope and then I'm going to do like a total. So I won't do the total yet and I'll leave this blank for now because I made a lot of money this paycheck. So I grossed over $2,000, like 21, 
21.22 and I netted about 18.22. So I made an, an extra $633 off of what I normally make. So I normally should make about 11.89 and I made 18.22. So it was a good check. And then now that I'm working with my sister part-time, I get 140 weekly off of that. So that's going to be broken down in the one next to it. So it's a lot of information, guys. So anyways, this is what I have so far for this one. Now we're going to move on to sinking funds. Okay, so sinking funds, regular sinking funds. And then this is sinking funds as well, but these are weekly sinking funds because of that weekly check. So regular sinking funds, car maintenance went up to $30 again. That's what it used to be. And that's actually what's recommended for the year of my car. And since it was like totally tapped out recently, cause like, I think if you all watched my previous video, I had to change the push start and I had to get two new tires. And then I had to do uh, an oil change, but then they had to do a diagnostics to see what was going on with my push start. And then they added windshield wipers and all that stuff. So spent a lot of money in my car recently. So I have to make that fund go up. So now it gets 30 by weekly. And then IMDB and Vimeo get eight. Emergency pet fund went back up again. My babies will have like a good fund. I was putting it on my credit cards because I couldn't put that much money into their fund. So I had, that's why a few of my credit cards went back up even though I had already paid them off previously. Like two of them got maxed out because of Pebbles. But I don't mind, I don't care, it's my baby. She's gonna get the best treatment and she's gonna you know, feel better and she's doing better. Knock on wood, <laughs> nothing comes up. But the pet fund will be going up, emergency pet fund, because I have a regular pet fund, but the emergency pet fund is going back up to $60 uh, bi-weekly. And then my emergency fund is gonna get 145 for now, bi-weekly, depending on my overtime, but that's what I'm aiming for. I'm aiming for about 290 to 300 uh, monthly, because I wanna try and get three to six months of an emergency fund of what I make monthly, my regular paycheck, which is 2378 monthly. I'm aiming to get that at least times three or times six. So we'll see how that goes. And then I added back Christmas funds. I haven't had these in like two years because I was like trying to focus on just paying off debt. So I'm bringing it back and that gets $20 by weekly. And then Brendan fund for my husband because we have an anniversary coming up and then his birthday is coming up as well. So I wanna start saving money for gifts for him. So I'm gonna do 30 bi-weekly. So then the total for this is 293, okay. And then we have my weekly funds and that's from the check that I get from helping my sister. So that gets, I added a travel fund, investments and SAG dues. SAG dues used to be up here. I brought this down and then I put these two up here. So now travel fund is gonna get, because I am planning on going to California at the end of June. And then we are hoping that depending on how everything's doing in the world and here in the States, I really am hoping to go somewhere to Europe. I think we were thinking about like London, Dublin, and what was the other one? I uh, Not Glasgow. Um, I can't remember the name, but it was basically gonna be like England, Scotland, and Ireland. So travel fund right now is gonna get $50 weekly which would be 200 monthly. Then I'm gonna do investments, whether that's an IRA, that's, um, I already have a 401k through work, but like, you know, a Roth IRA, you know, just investments period. And like to start building a small portfolio, I don't know how many do it. I'm gonna try to do as much research as I can and then go from there. So weekly, I'm doing 75 for that, which ends up being, 300 monthly and that will probably go up because i do have so much money left over from my paycheck so this might go up to like 600 dollars. but i do want to do research before i just start putting my money in anything like because i know a lot of people use like i know robin hood recently got a really bad reputation like a few months ago for like all that stuff that happened but there's like a few other apps that i was looking at because I'm, it, I'd be, I'm like a first timer. I really don't know much about it. So I want something that's like very user friendly for someone who has no idea what she's doing. But anyways, you can probably tell I don't know much about this whole stuff. But I want to invest, and I want to invest in my future because it's never too late to get started. Would have loved to have started it when I was younger. Didn't doing it now. 
Okay, so $75 weekly, so that's gonna be $300 monthly and probably more. So SAG dues is $14 weekly, which is 56 monthly. And that kind of just stays at what it is because I'm not making any money as an actor right now. I am getting dues, but I'm not making a whole lot of money as an actor. So it's just, you know, I know that my dues aren't gonna be like super high because uh, they're generally a percentage of what you make yearly. Okay, so then the 50, 75, and 14 weekly is gonna be 139. So a dollar short, because I make about 140. So then I was gonna do a grand total, but I'm gonna wait until the very end because I wanna fill up all my envelopes and then go from there. Oh, and then another thing. These are all transferred online. I already did the transfer of this. So it was a, let me see. So I transferred $432 to my Ally account because these are all online. All of my sinking funds will be online transfers. Okay, so transfer to Ally. So, and this was my attempt at my first writing it out and it was messy, so I changed it to this. Okay, so I'm not gonna give you a grand total of this until everything's out and everything's put away. So I will be right back with the cash envelope stuffing, the change jar, and yeah, I will be right back, guys. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the change jar. Get it out of the way. Let me see. Yes, I'm still using this wallet. I really like it, I'm telling you guys. But ugh, this thing's getting really heavy. But it's going, I'm not gonna open it or use it until next year, so let me put this away. I'm really craving a coffee right now. And I'm just like so out of breath and just like so tired. I've been so tired this week, like yesterday. I was like so, so tired after like I took my nephew to the dentist for the first time and he was really excited about it. Like I've never seen a three-year-old this excited about the dentist. And the dentist even said like, wow, like I've never seen a three-year-old that excited. But anyways, that I did that with him during the day and I was doing my sister's laundry and stuff and just getting them situated for the week. And after that, I came home. I think I brought some food. We, oh yeah, we had to go and see a house because we might be leaving this place and renting a single family home and then having my sister Alice and Aiden move in with us because we kind of, like they just, my sister obviously really needs the help. So we're looking at our options. But anywho, I was, I just became extremely exhausted and started, and started feeling really, really sick. Like my head felt super heavy and I ended up coming home and I fell asleep. Like I was gonna take a one hour nap and I slept for four hours. I woke up, I didn't really eat. My husband made dinner. I think I just had like some char grilled zucchini and I was just like, I can't eat. And then I came back to bed, fell asleep like at 11.30 and didn't wake up till noon today. And I still feel tired. I just, I feel funky. I don't know, I don't feel good. But anywho, oh, someone's playing us some music on the background. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with rent and rent gets 359. It's gonna be one, two, and three. 50, 59, right? Yeah, I said 59. Line. Okay. I feel like this saves on space, but I do feel like it takes longer to get the money out of there as opposed to just like picking it from there. So if you've watched my videos, I'm trying to like intercut a lot because it's just, it takes so long. So that's one, two, three, 50, five, six, seven, three, eight, 59. So 359, this was just put into my bank account because it needs to be paid out tomorrow or Tuesday, so 3.59. Then water gets 15, 10 and 15. Same thing, just paid this out. Let 
Then electric gets $30. So that's 20 and 30. Now this hasn't been paid out because I haven't gotten my bill. I don't get it until like the fifth of the month. So I don't know what it is yet. Okay, so this is 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 20, 40, 60, 83, 310. 310 is what this has. Okay, then we have car insurance and car insurance gets 58. So that's 55, 56, 57, 58. Sorry, I just realized what I'm gonna put that money towards. A little bit towards self-care, but definitely a big chunk is gonna go to something else. Okay, T-Mobile is gonna get 55. That's 50 and five. It's paid out as well. It went up by $5 because my sister is now on my account and I'm helping her out with like $5. I normally do a hundred, but just that it doesn't seem like too much on her to pay. I'm chipping in $10 a month. Okay, then Wi-Fi gets 21. Subscriptions gets 12. That's 10, 11, and 12. Then Affleck gets 28. So that's 25, 26, 27, and 28. Okay, then Thrive gets $10. So that's 10 and 20. So this is fully funded. Then gas gets 13. So that's 10, 11, 12, 13. So that's 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 1, 72, 73. 476. So this does not need to be funded anymore after today until I actually fill up my tank. Okay, then we have food and food gets 50. So that's 20, 40, and 50. 20, 40, and 50. And I think I have 20 left in that. Yep. So 20, 40, 60, 70. 70. Okay, then we have pets and pets get 60. So that's 20, 40, and 60. 20, 40, and 60. And this definitely has some money in it. So that's gonna be 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 142. 142 in their account. I want to say I got them some treats recently and I didn't charge them for it. Then we have spending fund and spending fund is going to get 125. So that's going to be 20, 40, 60, 80, 120 and five. 
20, 40, 60, 80, 120, and five. And then let's see how much I have here. Let's add this to this. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 30, 5, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 42, 142, too. Yay, me. Okay, the medical gets $60. So that's 20, 40, and 60. 20, 40, and $60. I always think I plan these things so well, and then when I film them, it's just like, wait, what? That's 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 50. So 250 in my medical fund. Okay, and then my sister will give money next week. So that goes here, and then self-care. So let's see how much I have left over. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 33. Oh no, I, I, it's fine. It was 633. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to get another envelope. Okay, and I'm back. So this place that we're trying to move into, it's a thousand dollar fee for my dogs. It's like 300 for like pet fee for the first dog and then 300 for the pet deposit for the first dog and then $200 for the pet fee for the second dog and then $200 for the pet deposit for the second dog. It's like a thousand dollars to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and make this into, yeah, because it either comes out of their pet emergency fund, which that's mainly for like emergencies, like they have to go to the hospital, the pet hospital and get taken care of, or I make a fund for it so that I'm not scrambling to like, you know, come up with the money for it. So I think I'm going to do that. So let's do, should I do like moving fees? Cause I have a moving fund, but that's just like for deposit and all that stuff. So like this is part of like the fees. So I think I'm going to do like moving pet fees. Okay. So knowing this, so self-care, I really need a manicure as you can tell, like my, I'm growing my own nails, but I don't know. My fingers look gross. My toes look gross. So I'm going to give myself a hundred dollars for my self-care. So that's 20, 40, 60, 80, a hundred. And actually the overage just in case I need to cover tip. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I'm gonna do 113 into self-care. Because I really need to go get this done. Like, soon. Although, oh, maybe I can get it done tomorrow. I get out, no, I don't get out early enough. I get out at 6.30 and they close like at seven. They'll hit me if I go in at 6.30. So self-care and then the rest, I know it seems ridiculous, but I might as well do this now since I already have everything else. All of my bills are set. All of my sinking funds are set. Even my new sinking funds, my weekly sinking, sinking funds for investments are set. I was gonna throw more money at those investments, but since I know the move's gonna happen within the next two months, I'd rather take care of that. And then once that happens, then I'll throw like an additional $200 in investments and I'll do like 500. Ideally, I would like to do $1,000 monthly towards investments, but I'll get there. I'll get there. I'm going to start off small first. So then that means that I'm going to do 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85. Wait, why does that seem? Why will I have more? <laughs> I wanted to do just like an even $500. Did I miss something? Oh, I think I should have thrown $20 more over there. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85. So I'm going to do an even 500 in this. I'm going to throw another 20 in the self care. Maybe I'll get a haircut for 20 bucks somewhere. Okay. 
Okay, and then let's just make a correction on this. Add an extra 20 bucks. And that'll make it 133. There we go. <laughs> All the tabs are backwards. But these are my sinking funds, or not, well, sort of, a couple of them. Well, one of them is. The rest are all my fixed expenses. And then here, I'm gonna go ahead and do the final total. So my total, I ended up doing 133. And so this, without the 133, was gonna be 896 plus 133 equals to 1029. Okay, and then my grand total over here, so 1029 plus 293 plus 139 equals to 1461. Oh, because I didn't include the 500 to 1961. So where would I include that? So let's just do it, I guess here. We'll do moving. Well, no, but it's not a weekly thing. So I'm gonna put it up here, so moving fees. And I think I'm gonna move them digital, and that's gonna be 500. So the grand total was 1961, and let's do 293 plus 500 equals to 793. So there we go, you guys. So these are my sinking funds. These are my fixed expenses. Yeah, I'm really happy with my overtime, although I probably need some rest. I'll be right back. And I'm back. So there you have it folks, that was my paycheck number three breakdown for May of 2021 and my cash envelope stuffing and my change jar. And as you can see, I made a lot more money than the previous check. Well, actually only maybe like $200 difference, but I ended up doing a lot of overtime and I netted $822, but made over like $21 to $2,200. It is currently 11.43 on Sunday the 30th. So it's pretty late for me. I am really, really tired, but I wanted to get this done because I do want to get this up for you guys in a timely manner. Uh, but anyways, yes, made a lot more money this time around because I'm working a lot. Tomorrow actually, which is Memorial Day, I will be working a regular shift of eight hours. We're not allowed to do overtime tomorrow, but we will get an additional eight hours on top of our shift that we work tomorrow. So I will work eight hours and then I will get an additional eight hours and then I can continue the rest of my overtime for the rest of the week, which I will do except for Tuesday because I have to take my sister to the eye doctor because she's got a little bit of an infection and you know, it's a little scary because right now her eyes are sewn shut and uh, she has to adjust the strings. It's really weird. She has to adjust the sutures, I guess to make them get tighter because they can't be open right now at all. But um, maybe I'll do like a little update, mini update with her uh, on Tuesday. We'll see, uh, depending on how she feels and if she wants to even be on camera. So uh, yeah, so Tuesday I will not be doing any type of overtime, but the rest of the week I will be doing overtime and I will continue to do so until they say no because we are maybe moving to a single family home uh, that we might rent, uh, we'll see. Don't know if we will be, uh, if we will qualify for it, but hopefully we will. But yeah, so that's basically it. Right now I'm really focused on just, you know, weight loss, as I mentioned before, because I was diagnosed with pseudo tumor, cerebri and diabetes. And so I've been really, really good about what I'm eating and stuff like that. But also my body's changing because I'm older, so I'm not losing the weight as fast as I was before so there's that little nugget to deal with so yeah it's it's been a little hard and I've been feeling really sick the past few days I'm not sure if it's the metformin that I started using per doctor's orders and I just I get really tired like exhausted like yesterday I slept four hours and then today well and then I went to bed again and then I slept for 12 hours but yeah I am somehow really exhausted and I just feel sick and I just don't feel well. So even the fact that I'm shooting this video, I shouldn't be doing it. I should probably be in bed, but I am because I'm like, I gotta get it done. And if I don't get it done, then like it, it stays in my head because I'm so like, just like about things. But yeah, uh, I don't think I have any real big update other than I'm obviously making more money. More money will go into my investment 
portfolio so that I can invest money and either do an, a Roth IRA or a Roth IRA, I'm not sure what you call it, <laughs> and then just some investing and, you know, like minor investing in things that are like super like maybe like not high risk. I'm watching a lot of Graham Stephan and whoever else you guys recommend. But yeah, that's basically it. Just working a lot, not getting enough rest, not giving myself enough self-care, filming, taking care of my sister, taking care of Aiden. But yeah, I, I feel like I'm, I'm working towards a goal and once that goal is accomplished, then maybe I can just like ease up a little bit. Like I think right now it's super stressful because my sister is living alone with her son. And even though she has a friend staying with her, I don't know how long she's gonna be there. So I, my fear is that she's gonna just be alone with Aiden, which is why we're looking into buying a bigger home or not buying into renting a bigger home so that her and Aiden can come and stay with us so that I'm not worried about like, are they eating? Is Aiden like destroying the house? you know is Aiden inside the house you know just things like that so like right now I'm like okay the friend's there but what happens when that friend leaves so that's adding a lot of stress and you know yeah just that but you know just get through it uh so yeah I think that's it I don't have anything else uh but yeah take a look at my office I couldn't film behind me because my sister and Aiden were over this weekend and I haven't made the bed and I need to do laundry anyways. I'm not, I'm gonna have to wash the sheets and stuff, but that's why I couldn't film that way. So I was like, okay, where do I film? Where do I film? So filmed this way and I had to rearrange some things so that some things could be hidden because work stuff. Anyways, I'll probably end up editing this and see something that needed to be put away and it wasn't put away and then I'll put another, uh-oh. I don't know if you guys noticed it on my last video, I put uh oh because there was some work stuff that was hanging and uh, like down here and I, I can't share those things um, just because of the type of work that I do. Anyways, that is it. And I'm saying anyways so much. Like, do I say anyways as much as I say like? Let me know in the comments below. But if you have any suggestions on investments, like what apps to use like Robinhood or anything like that for first time investors and like any recommendations on like people I should watch that could, you know, kind of walk a beginner through with like a Roth IRA or whatever, things like that. Let me know because I am super gung-ho about that. I really, really want to do it. And I really want to set about a thousand dollars. Like once I save the money that I need to save to move, uh, my goal is to just throw a thousand dollars monthly at that like just like aggressive like be super aggressive with it because you know i'm making those extra six six to seven hundred dollars every two weeks and that i can definitely afford to do that so uh let me know in the comments below so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, and as always if you have not subscribed yet please do so now and then ring my bell so you can stay updated on everything that i have coming up and then please like and comment Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, my eyes just got really blurry. Whew, just got really dizzy. Anyways, okay.